Hi and welcome to Supply Chain Today. Here we discuss the latest hot topics in supply chain and global trade with experts from all around the world. My name is Ben and I'm going to be your host for this episode. Today I'm joined with our guest speaker Yuana. Yuana works as a GTS business analyst in Crypt. Her expertise is mainly in the ST and GTS sector. However, she specializes in trade preference geared towards implementing fury tiles and customs. Yuana currently resides in Austria and is part of our growing EU team. It is a pleasure to have you with us today. How are you doing? Thank you very much for the invitation, Ben. All good. Thank you very much. Awesome. So uh, today's topic for discussion is implementing trade preference fury tiles using non-SAP feeder system. So on the same topic, we have some questions submitted by our listeners for you. I hope they will find this episode insightful, informative and interesting. However, before we go forward, I would like to remind all our listeners that you can submit your questions by clicking the link found in the description. And with no more delay, here are the questions. So talking about implementing trade preference fury tiles using non-SAP feeder system, the question that I have for you is, is it possible for a company to have GTS without an SAP feeder system? Yes, this is possible. Of course, uh, as everybody knows, uh, you can uh, integrate GTS with SAP feeder system. This is easy and uh, can be done, but also you can integrate uh, GTS with non-SAP feeder system. And for example, you can have one, two, three, multiple non-SAP feeder system, and then the integration works perfectly. Awesome. So is it possible to connect Fiery tiles with the GTS system? Yes, this is uh, possible. For example, uh, it depends what is it is in scope. Like um, um, there can be implemented Fury tiles for trade preference, for example, or for classification. This is something that needs to be discussed and agreed with the customer. Mm -hmm. uh, how can we transfer the master data? So any master data um, is maintained in the feeder, feeder system and must be transferred to GTS. Some master data maintained in the feeder system and it's partially sent to GTS and some of it is maintained fully in GTS. For non-SAP feeder system, this can be done using the flat files and this is uh, done using, using specific templates for the transfer. Okay, so which data elements will be transferred through the flat files? For example, we can transfer customers or vendors or products. Okay, uh, will the bomb be transferred using the flat files? From my previous experience, uh, the production process was done outside the GTS system. So there was uh, not any bomb transfer. Okay, so if there will be no bomb transfer, then can the customer have trade preference only for the IBD and OBD processes? Yes, the customer can have uh, the trade preference uh, tiles just for inbound and outbound processes. Uh, the inbound process is the acquisition process and the outbound is the sales process. So for example, we can create two Fiori tiles for the inbound process, like requesting an LTVD and maintaining the LTVD and two Fiori tiles for outbound process, like issuing the certificate of origin and monitoring the certificate of origin. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, when can the customer see the first Fiori prototypes? So based on the customer's requirements, the consultants can understand what their needs are. So from my previous experience, the consultants uh, will create the Fiori prototypes and present them to the customer and explain the flows. This way the customer can understand and see the entire uh, flows like for example inbound and outbound and can agree or of course they can add any comments or changes awesome uh that is it so thank you so much for your uh, insightful episode with us today yona uh i think along with me and the listeners they will be uh, saying that this episode has been useful and educational so thank happy you happy to hear that thank you <laughs> Awesome. So uh, again, I would like to remind all the listeners today that you can be part of our podcast by submitting your questions when you click on the link that is available in the description. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. This is Supply Chain Today. Cheers. Cheers.